Welcome to the St. Michael Fall podcast series. My name is Greg Pickens, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this fall is discipleship. May you be blessed for the Christian journey. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so that she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. Here ends the reading. My grandmother, Alice, was an amazing person. She was one of a legion of women who offered themselves to the war effort while her husband was fighting in France. Now, Alice was a very slight person. She could easily be dismissed were one to miss the chance to speak with her. She was a fireball, and no one would tell her what she could or could not do. She went to work in a downtown Oklahoma City foundry making parts for the huge boilers used by our Navy at the time. Imagine a five-foot-two farm girl who came to Oklahoma as a child in a covered wagon, now dressed in oversized waxed breeches and gloves, working in the middle of a spark-showered fabrication floor. It must have been a sight. In her later years, she often told me that she had never been more frightened in her life working in that foundry. She only survived it because she was able to focus on her job while at the same time being aware of the danger posed by the large steel pipes being moved over her workstation. Her words and that image has stuck with me over the years. Her ability to be hyper-focused on what was important, even while being aware of what was going on around her. In the Gospel, we see two disciples of Jesus, both who clearly love him in their own peculiar way. And if we're lucky, we may have some Marthas and Marys in our lives today. Perhaps we know a person who is utterly devoted in the way Mary was to Jesus. And we may also know a Martha who loves the Lord through offering others their gifts of service. Some disciples worship with their hands and others with their minds. It has ever been this way. But it is clear that Jesus had something to say while he was with these women that day. Had Martha done something wrong? How could it be wrong for Martha to love the Lord in her own way? In the life of the disciple, there is always this tension between that which must be the focus and that which is important but must take second place. I don't hear a rebuke in Jesus' correction of Martha's behavior. She had merely chosen poorly, focusing on serving the Lord rather than being with the Lord himself. As disciples, this gospel invites us to pay attention to focus on the important part of what we offer in our ministry, and that is to know Jesus and to make him known. Should we find ourselves, like Martha, doing good but not spending time with the Lord himself, then we need to pause and reassess. There's no shame in this. In fact, being self-aware enough to catch ourselves when we stray, that is a true blessing and a mark of a mature disciple. Our gospel is a call to self-reflection in whatever we do and to keep our focus clearly on our Lord. May God bless you on your journey. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace, and grant that we may so use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds, that our spirits may be open to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.